Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video I'm going to be giving you some information over your navigation panel. I'm going to be talking about sales and catalog part of the panel. So let's take a look at orders under sales tab. Um, here we can see all the orders that has been created on our web page. So this is the orders that came from our customers and we can we're viewing we we have one page we're viewing 20 um, orders per page and we have 10 records so this means we only had 10 orders until now um, what we can do on this page is we can export all these orders to as a CSV file or an Excel document for back backup purposes so I can back my orders anytime I want and then if I'm changing my Magento web page creating a new store and I want the same orders um, to be there I can just export import and use it however I want so we can search from our orders we can um, select all the orders um, by clicking here select visible and then we can choose an action from our action list let's say we're gonna hold our orders so or cancel or print all the orders so we're just gonna click on hold and then submit so that's just gonna apply whatever we choose from or we can just choose separate orders and do, take an action from the same location uh, we can sort our orders um, according to this list so let's say the total price sorted by the total price high to low low to end or status or anything else that exists on this list we can create a manual new order if you want it alright so let's go to invoices by the way quick information this panel over here um, the most of the pages in Magento is going to have the same layout so if, when you get used to this um, design and, and what it does um, it's going to get easier for you because um, most of the pages use the same layout so alright invoices as you can see it's similar you can export all your invoices or later on import from your systems tab which we're going to be talking about in future tutorials uh, once again you can sort your invoices and click to view them or change them shipments it is the same layout same functionality um, your shipments are here you can always view them or change anything that belongs to them let's go back and go to credit memos alright right now we don't have any but once again you can do everything you did on other pages until now transaction transactions is gonna be the same um, billing agreements same story terms and conditions same story and tax um, we're gonna be covering tax in future tutorials just so just know it's here your sales um, tab is gonna have everything that is related to your sales alright catalog let's go to manage products so in this page we're basically um, managing our products we can see all the products we created um, we can we have five pages right now so I'm just gonna choose to view more in a single page now we're viewing 200 products and you can once again do the same things you can sort it by their price quantity um, visibility status you can choose an action from the list delete all the all the products change statuses um, you can click on whichever product you want and go to the um, editing page for the product which we're gonna cover in future tutorials so I'm just gonna go back and not get into that for now and I'm gonna go up and show you a little bit of the manage categories page so categories um, 
let me just go back to the web page real quick. Um, categories are going to be the part that is here. So this is going to have your product. So your shoes category is going to have all the products over here. So you can um, just change it, change its name, change its location according to your theme. You can basically do whatever you want with it. Um, which you're gonna do it from here so our categories are here as you can see we can just click on top of one and change its name um, change what's in this category so um, you can change the description the display settings category products um, this layout is gonna be the same also for other some of the pages so it's gonna get easier when you get used to this you can um, edit general information menu, um, change the design, assign the products to that category, which I'm going to be covering in future tutorials. Don't worry about it; it's it's a piece of cake. But I'm just going to keep it at this level for this video. So you can add a root category, which is uh, which can have subcategories. You can have shoes, and then you can have different brands under that. You can also click um, and drag anything you can change its um, order by clicking and dragging it around um, when you do changes you can always click on save and save it or delete the category itself let's take a look at attributes um, here we have two options first one is manage attributes so in this page we, we you can find all the attributes that exist on our store in means of color cost um, manufacturer these are going to be the attributes that actually let's see all the pages here all right um so in this page you can assign attributes once again i'm going to cover that in future tutorials or you can go to um, attribute sets and add a new attribute set so let me just explain what this is you can just click on attribute add new set and start adding your set um, wait for the future um, go for the future videos to um, have more information over this but I would suggest you to um, start watching the videos one by one and then because it's it's in the order that would make sense to you so in attribute sets um, let me go back to the web page and click one of the products we have here okay so um, this is a color so this is this is like a fashion item so the um, layout for this product I mean by layout I mean the um, the, the zone I just selected so this is gonna be a fashion product so this is gonna use a fashion attribute set so this could have been an electronic product where it would have different um, features or instead of quick overview or like instead of product description we can have product like futures um, you can put like 60 gigabyte of rams let's say 6 gigabyte of rams 10 gigabyte of rams or different attributes you can choose to um, let me make it clear for you so we have a t-shirt um, attribute set that we created so what you're gonna see here is everything that is gonna be on that products page so what we have is we have color size uh, manufacturer school um, this is gonna be covered later on but um, the ones that has red um, signs is the ones that you're, you can't change so these are the ones that we can change we can once again drag and select drag and change its location whatever so w whatever you see here is um, reflects to this page so you're gonna get this in future tutorials but attribute sets are the sets you create for your products like t-shirts or computers or anything else um, 
that you would want to create this and then add the product using this attribute set so that it would look um, perfect for your product. All right, so we can um, change the name of the attribute set. We can um, click and drag anything we want. We can click, drag it out, drag it in, or out as we want. So let's go back and let me go to manage attributes one more time. So which whichever attribute you add from here is gonna be listed. Alright, so this is a quick view of how to add your add an attribute. So whichever you add to um, attributes they are gonna be listed on the right of your attribute sets. So if I created a futures attribute from manage attributes, uh, it would appear here and then I would just drag it to wherever I want and then it will be visible on our actual web page. Alright, so URL management. Um, this is gonna have all your URL extensions. URL is simply this part. Um, basically it's your address bar URL is the address and this is gonna have this is gonna you're gonna manage all the URL from this page so your um, main page um, print address red HTML and the um, extensions are here so you can see every page um, we have 362 pages let's view more in this in a single page so yeah basically we have everything look we have our products here this is gonna be our URL extension so it's gonna be www.rstore.com slash this so this is URL um, let's keep up with um, search terms so search bar is at our web page at our test page um, the theme puts the search bar on top so this is our search bar and whichever we search from here um, let's say hello let's search hello or let's search um, a uh, let's search mm, computer let's see if something shows up yeah we have one um, test product that is named computer X so let's refresh this page and see if my search came visible yeah so I just searched computer and before that I searched hello so this page is gonna bring us everything that is related to search so what is searched hello searched um, results so hello someone searched hello and zero results were found so nothing related to hello exists on our store and how many times it got searched one time so I just searched it once and no results came out so you can see um, you can choose to display suggested terms um, or you can select everything and choose an action once again just like the same layout I've been mentioning all over um, so reviews and ratings we have customer views and manage ratings under this you can just um, go ahead and click on pending reviews if let me just go to the product page let's just go to this computer X product uh, and then go down and you're gonna see computer description is here and then there's view reviews so under this part a customer can once vote from the list you create um, these are all changeable so you can put whatever you want um, they're gonna rate and then they're gonna write a review here so we just did it so submit the review um, okay your review has been accepted for moderation so if you're here refresh this page our pending reviews page is gonna have our review because it's pending so you can you can see what I just put um, you can edit it you can um, you can choose to accept it or you can choose an action from the list delete update which is gonna um, enable it 
we're gonna be talking about this in future tutorials uh, we're gonna have a specific video over views and ratings so this is the pending reviews you're just gonna have to um, update its status first and approve it you can also change the status if you want so let's go on to all the reviews so if you click on this you're gonna see all the reviews that has been created you can choose to delete them um, make them pending approved deny them or you can even change um, whatever they wrote here or their nickname you can basically do anything you want with that so ratings I've shown you the voting part of the ratings so let me show it one more time so this is the ratings part you can um, we have three options you can add a new rating or delete the existing ones <coughs> you're just gonna have to <coughs> I'm sorry you're just gonna have to um, play with this don't get scared just um, do something here and then go back to your original page and see how it reflects so that you would get what's what's gonna happen when you do that so tags um, let's go to all tags every um, product we have it have tags so it's once again located let me um, actually go to more visual product because this is our test product so it doesn't have visual let's um, choose this product and go down to product tags so this product has um, four tags <clears throat> high quality very good red and cheer magento allows your customers to tag under your product so that um, they would let's let's just tag um, I don't know metal here and add tag yeah you have to um, be logged in to add a tag of course not everyone can tag it so yep metal is here what this does is you can click on high quality and it just shows you the products that was tagged under that you yourself can tag products or even your customers can tag but then you have to um, approve them before it gets used so once again we're in manage tags and at all tags page so we see all the tags that is created um let's go to pending tags which we have created one um this so you you see the pendant tags here you have to choose and then choose an action um, approve or not so it will be visible on the page and then finally Google sitemap this is a useful we, we don't have Google so we're not using Google sitemap now but um, this is useful so that Google identifies every page in your web page which is good for you because you would wanna you would want Google to um, know all the pages in your store so uh, this is how you do it you can click on add sitemap and start adding your sitemap which I will be covering in future tutorials alright we just came to the end of our first panel overview video uh, we're gonna have more videos coming up um, once again it's Baron from attack interactive and thank you for watching this